Hi, so this is my uh, second lecture on uh, generalized uh, linear models and uh, here is the content of this uh, module, uh, the exponential family of distributions fitting generalized linear models and uh, logistic regression models. Well, uh, so in uh, simple linear regression or in multiple linear regression model, we make uh, several assumptions on error term like you know um, the error term uh, has uh, mean 0, uh, variance uh, sigma square and uh, they are uncorrelated and also we assume that uh, epsilon i they follow uh, normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and uh, variance uh, sigma square. Now, in a topic called uh, transformation and uh, waiting to correct uh, model inadequacy, we have learned you know how to deal with the situation when the assumption on constant variance and also that uh, uncorrelated assumption is uh, uh, violated and uh, what we learn in this uh, topic uh, is that uh, how to deal with the situation when the normality assumption is uh, is violated that means the response variable or the error term they follow some other distribution not the normal distribution okay so uh, <coughs> as i told in the previous class you know this uh, generalized linear model uh, analysis analysis uh, comes into play when the error distribution is not normal. So, the error distribution is not normal means uh, the distribution of response variable is also not normal, but let me clear uh, the fact that uh, the error distribution is not normal, but the error distribution or which is same as the uh, response variable distribution must be a member of exponential family. Okay, so, uh, this would be clear like you know uh, this uh, generalized linear model is applied when uh, the error distribution is not normal, but the error distribution must follow a distribution from the exponential family like we learned in the previous class that uh, like normal distribution of course, it's follow, it, it falls in uh, exponential family and then binomial, Poisson and then gamma uh, exponential, negative binomial, they are in all in uh, exponential family. Okay. Uh, so, what I uh, uh, will do, I sort of repeat this uh, uh, fitting a generalized linear model again, because this is very important uh, fitting generalized linear models. 
So, suppose you have a set of uh, independent observations, suppose we have a set of independent observations. The observations are y i, this is the response variable and x i prime. So, this is a this is a vector uh, and uh, suppose it has p components uh, associated with p uh, regressor variables. So, these are the observation we have uh, and we have n observations i is from 1 to n and as I told this x i prime, this is uh, x i 1, x i 2 up to x i p and here this response variable is not from normal. So, uh, this is from some exponential type distribution of canonical form. Okay, so, we know uh, uh, when a distribution is of exponential type and then the joint PDF probability density function is. So, f y 1, y 2, y n theta and uh, phi, which is basically you know product of uh, this uh, uh, marginal uh, PDFs. So, uh, the marginal PDF is it is or exponential type. So, the PDF is of this form exponential y i beta sorry b theta i plus c theta i plus d y i. Okay. And since uh, this distribution is of the canonical form, that is why A y is equal to y and this is uh, the product of marginal. So, i is from 1 to n because the observations are independent. That is why you can find the joint uh, PDF just by multiplying the marginal PDFs and this can be written as, as I wrote in the previous class, this is exponential sum i is from 1 to n y i b theta i plus c theta i i is from 1 to n plus sum over i equal to 1 to n d y i. Right? And uh, here, this uh, the theta theta is a this theta is a vector of parameters of interest, and here the parameter of interest is theta, and this vector is a theta one, theta two, theta n. So, the ith observation is coming from an exponential type distribution with the parameter, parameter theta i and uh, this phi is, is vector of nuisance parameter. Okay. 
So, next uh, what we want is that we are given uh, say y i and x i like uh, the previous cases. So, we are given the response variable and we are given the value for the p regressors and what you want is that we want to explain the variability in y in terms of uh, x i's. Okay? But the only problem here is that uh, if, if the y i is from the normal uh, distribution, then we know how to, how to fit a model between, uh, between y i and x i. Uh, but here the only problem is that this y uh, the response the distribution of the response variable does not uh, follow normal distribution here and then how to how to fit an appropriate model between uh, between the response variable and the regressor variable so that is the main um, objective here so what we expect is that we would uh, hope that the variation in y i or say expectation of y i that is nothing but theta i and this all this theta i theta 1, theta 2, theta n they can all be different. So, the variance in y i or theta i values could be explained in terms of the excise values okay and uh, we would hope that we could find a suitable link function suitable link function say g of theta i such that the model is the model g theta i is equal to x i prime beta this held. Okay. Uh, let me just complete uh, my writing here and then I will try to explain this part little bit. Uh, so, where, where beta is the regression coefficients. So, beta is beta 1, beta 2, beta p uh, is vector of regression coefficients and this link function, this link function is often the natural parameter. Yeah, I am sure that you know you, you, you may face problem here understanding this part, uh, but uh, let me uh, try to explain this one. Uh, so, in usual case when y i is uh, from normal distribution, what the model we fit is that we fit the model y i is equal to x i prime beta plus epsilon. So, this is the simple uh, or multiple linear regression model right? and then this can be 
uh, I can write this model as say expectation of y i equal to x i prime beta, because of the fact that expectation of epsilon is equal to 0. Uh, zero. So, my model I can also write this model as theta i is equal to x i prime beta. So, this is the model in case of, so the model finally the model is theta i is equal to x i prime beta, when the response variable is from the normal distribution. Now, uh, I hope you can recall that the natural parameter for you know the normal distribution is also in the exponential family and, uh, and the natural parameter for normal distribution is the natural parameter parameter is theta, if theta suppose theta is the mean. If uh, I mean the link function is associated with this natural parameter. So, the link function here, the function I am talking about this is g theta. So, g theta is equal to the natural parameter theta. So, when it is normal, my g theta is equal to theta. So, that is why I fit the model theta equal to x i prime beta. Right. Now, in the other case, uh, this uh, suppose y is not from uh, y does not follow normal distribution, it follows some other distribution from the exponential family, say binomial. Then my natural parameter for binomial is uh, ln theta i by 1 minus theta i. So, this theta is the probability of success in i -th trial. So, this is the natural parameter for the binomial case, binomial with parameter n theta i. So, this is the natural parameter in that case, in, in case of binomial. So, my g is, my g theta is ln theta by 1 minus theta. So, in case of binomial, we will go for the model uh, that we will go for the model of g theta i is equal to x i prime beta and we know that in case of binomial, this g theta is equal to ln theta by 1 minus theta sorry i equal to x i prime beta. Okay. So, uh, here you can you can uh, write this in the compact form also may be uh, Finally, the model is theta i, you can write it as theta i is equal to equal to exponential x i prime beta plus 1 plus exponential x i prime beta. So, this is the model in case of binomial and this is nothing but this is nothing but the final model is expectation of y i uh, is equal to expectation sorry uh, exponential x i prime beta by 1 plus exponential beta. Okay. So, this is the model we have to. So, that means the y equal to this plus epsilon is the is the model in case of the response variable uh, follows binomial distribution. Okay. So, I uh, will talk about this case uh, right now uh, uh, in detail. Right. So, let me consider uh, this fitting uh, generalized linear model in case of binomial distribution.
binomial distribution. Okay. So, uh, let me write it clearly. Suppose we have data, we have data say y i x i prime from a binomial distribution from a binomial distribution with parameter say binomial n i. Let me write it p i. I am uh, instead of theta i, I am writing p i. So, p i is the parameter of interest and n i's are uh, nuisance parameter. Okay. So, I have a set of observation from binomial distribution, then how to how to fit a model, I already talked about this one, but I will write it very clearly here. Okay. Uh, now, this y i, the single observation y i is of the form r i by n i, where r i is the number of successes in n i trials. Okay. So, r i is the number of successes in n i trials. So, you know binomial distribution, right. And here, you know, y i is not really, you know, a number of successes in n i trials, it says a proportion of success basically. Uh, each having probability p i of success. And this x i prime, this one is basically x i 1, x i 2, x i p is a set of observations of p regressors associated with y i. Okay. And we know that this uh, binomial, I will also give an example to illustrate uh, this part. This binomial distribution is a member of of the exponential family. Okay, so, what I will do first is that I will write down the joint PDF, because that uh, well from that one we get uh, the uh, natural parameter and also uh, the link function. So, the joint PDF of y 1, y 2, y n joint PDF uh, let me write it as uh, f of y 1, y 2, y n okay, is equal to product of n i y i n i c y i uh, p i to the power of y i 
into 1 minus p i to the power of n i minus y i from i equal to 1 to n. And this can be written uh, as i equal to 1 to n exponential say y i ln p i 1 minus p i, it is not difficult to verify this plus n i ln 1 minus p i plus ln n i c y i. Okay. And uh, then you can finally write it as exponential just uh, sum over i equal to 1 to n y i ln p i 1 minus p i plus sum n i ln 1 minus p y i equal to 1 to n plus i equal to 1 to n n i c y i ln. Okay, so, this is the joint PDF of uh, the observations we have uh, which are from the binomial distribution. Now, the same thing uh, what we want we have we are given y i and uh, x i prime and we would try to explain the variability in y in terms of x i. Okay. So, same thing. So, we would hope that the variation in the in in the response variable y i or in expectation of y i. So, here you know uh, this generally it is n p, but here we are assuming again this y i the observation is uh, number of successes by n i. So, this one is basically uh, p i. So, the variation in y i uh, or in p, p i could be could be explained in terms of of the x size values. Okay. That is we would hope that we could find a suitable link function link function. So, here the function g such that this g of p i is equal to x i prime beta. And this link function is obtained from the uh, natural parameter and for binomial distribution the natural parameter is. Uh, so, the natural parameter here meter is l n p i 1 minus p i. Okay. So, this is basically g of p i. Okay. So, uh, that is why we fit the model, we fit the model l n p i by 1 minus p i equal to x i prime beta. So, this one is nothing but beta 1 x i 1 plus beta 2 x i 
2 plus beta p x i p. Okay? And this one can be written as finally, that p i is equal to uh, exponential as I wrote before also exponential uh, x i prime beta by 1 plus exponential x i prime beta. Okay. So, this is same as uh, writing expectation of y i is equal to this and which is equivalent to say that y i is equal to this plus epsilon. So, this is the model you know instead of fitting uh, y i equal to x i prime beta which is the case for normal distribution, we are fitting the model like y i is equal to this expression plus epsilon right? and then expectation of y i is this one. Okay. So, the model we got is uh, finally, is, is p i is equal to exponential x i prime beta by 1 plus exponential x i prime beta. Right? Now, when uh, when x i prime beta is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i 2 that means, only one regressor uh, and the other one is of course, the dummy variable you can put x 1 x i 1 which is a dummy variable which is one for all observations. Uh, when this is true, let me call it star. When this is the situation, then star is called logistic function. Function. Okay. So uh, we have uh, the model with us uh, now. Uh, this is this is the this is the model we have to fit uh, when the response variable is uh, binomial. So the model we got is that uh, you know expectation of y i or which is equal to p i is equal to uh, exponential x i prime beta by one plus uh, x i prime beta. Sorry, exponential. So we have the model and then. Uh, how do we fit the model? Fitting the model means here the regression coefficients are beta 1, beta 2, beta p. So, we have to estimate those things. So, here we will use uh, maximum likelihood method to fit them. So, estimation via maximum likelihood okay so to estimate beta we use the method of maximum likelihood okay so first uh, uh, what we do is that we we uh, uh, construct the likelihood function or compute the likelihood function l which is the likelihood function function which is nothing but the joint probability of y 1, y 2, y n and we know that this is exponential just now we computed 
uh, this is y i ln p i 1 minus p i plus sum over i equal to 1 to n i equal to 1 to n n i ln 1 minus p i plus ln n i c y i right. Okay. Uh, this is the likelihood function and then uh, it is convenient to work with uh, log likelihood. Log likelihood is nothing but you know log of the likelihood function l n. So, this simply it is become sum over y i l n p i 1 minus p i i is equal to 1 to 1. So, this is the log likelihood plus n i l n 1 minus p i i is from 1 to n plus l n n i c y i. Okay. So, this is the log likelihood and now what I want to do is that see ultimately we have to estimate the parameter uh, beta and the model we have to sorry we have to fit this model we have to fit the model p i is equal to exponential x i prime beta by 1 plus exponential x i prime beta. And then what we will do is that we will just uh, write this log likelihood in terms of beta. So, you can check that this one is uh, x prime beta right. So, this one is summation y i x i prime beta because this l n p i by 1 minus p i equal to x prime beta from there only we get this one plus i is from 1 to n you can check that this can be replaced by you have to put minus here uh, by n i l n 1 plus exponential x i prime beta. It is not difficult to check this one. Okay. So, from here you can check that this l n 1 minus p i is equal to this plus. So, l n n i c y i. So, so we have the likelihood function or log like glute function in terms of beta now. So, how do we estimate beta? You maximize log likelihood l n with respect to beta. That means, uh, so here you know this beta is a vector and, uh, and uh, it has p components beta 1, beta 2, beta p. So, you have the log likelihood uh, involving beta. Now, you differentiate this log likelihood with respect to beta 1, beta 2 and beta p and so then you will get uh, p equations and you have p unknown and then you can solve for p 1, p 2 and uh, sorry uh, you can solve for beta 1, beta 2 and uh, beta p. Okay. So, this is how you know uh, you have to find uh, the estimates of uh, regression coefficients beta and uh, it is not so diff uh, so easy to uh, do this uh, for a given problem. Uh, so, uh, maybe you know this numerical search method. or something called uh, uh, iteratively re-weighted list square 
this is i r l s uh, could be used to compute uh, maximum likelihood estimates of beta. Okay. So, now again you know to explain this uh, example of uh, binomial distribution you considered. Uh, now, I will give a numerical example to illustrate uh, the binomial case. So, here we have data uh, called uh, pneumoconiosis data and this is uh, this is you know this is uh, lung disease this uh, pneumoconiosis is a lung disease that results from uh, breathing in 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 uh, dust in coal mines and here you have the data like number of years of exposure and the data can be read in this way. So, number of year of expo exposure is say 5.8 years and total number of minor is 98. So, this many workers number of severe cases is 0. So, if I mean uh, then the proportion of severe cases. So, y is the proportion of severe cases and and that is 0. So, 0 by 98 is 0. So, the number of years of exposure if it is 5.8 or say 6 year, then the probability that somebody will be severely affected by this pneumoconiosis is uh, like 0. Okay. Similarly, if you, you see that the, if the number of year of ex exposure is more, uh, then uh, there are chances of severely affected by this disease. And uh, here you can see if somebody is exposed for say almost like 50 years, then uh, it is uh, almost the probability is uh, half that uh, a person will be affected by this disease. Okay. So, uh, I am sure that you know understood the problem here. So, I have the data. Now, let me write in terms of uh, my requirement like, so I have the response variable y i. So, y i is the proportion of minors who have severe symptoms. Okay. So, this proportion, these are the proportion and I want to see whether the variation in this proportion can be explained in terms of the number of years of exposure and that is my x i. So, here uh, I talked about this s x x i vector. So, this vector is consist of only one component, it is a simple, uh, lin simple regression model type of things. So, I have this data for i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for i equal to uh, 1 to 8. So, my y 8 is equal to 0 0.45 and my x 8 is 51.5 years. So, what I want is that I want to see whether the variation in in y i or in the proportion of severe cases can be explained in terms of the number of exposures. But the problem here is that this y i is, is not from the normal distribution. right? So, it is, uh, uh, it is sort of binomial if you, if you uh, I mean this number is of course, binomial number of severe cases is binomial. Okay? So, here uh, the probability distribution for the number of 
severe cases is binomial is binomial okay so we'll fit a, a logistic model and there are only one regressor so uh, we will fit a logistic regression model to the data and my model is uh, like uh, y i is equal to exponential uh, x i prime beta by 1 plus uh, exponential x i prime beta and I should write this expectation of y i which is equal to p i basically. Okay. And here you must have observed this x i prime beta is equal to uh, beta 1 plus uh, beta 2 x because there is only one uh, regressor right that is the number of years of exposure right and uh, then you go for so you have the model and then you know how to fit this model using maximum likelihood uh, estimator and finally you can check that uh, the fitted model is y i hat which is equal to exponential 4.79 minus 0.0935x that means i'm writing this uh, beta 1 is this and beta 2 is this plus 1 plus exponential 4.79 minus 0.0935x okay so this is the uh, binomial uh, i gave an example to illustrate the binomial case uh, let me go for the uh, Poisson distribution now. Okay. So, suppose we have data y i x i prime from Poisson. Poisson p with parameter say mu i that means expectation of y i is equal to mu i generally we write lambda i is okay so you know that this distribution also is in the exponential family and the probability mass function f y mu can be written as exponential y ln mu minus mu minus ln y factorial. Okay. And here the natural parameter is uh, ln mu is the natural parameter. I am specific about this because this from this natural parameter we will get the link function. So, the g mu g mu is ln mu. Okay. Uh, so, again what we, we, we are suppose we are given y i and x i and we want to explain the variability in the response variable y i in terms of x i. So, the variation in y i could be explained in terms of in terms of the x size values okay and the model we fit is that 
we fit the model. The model is like G mu i is equal to x i prime beta, right. Okay. And we know that this uh, link function is equal to l n mu. So, the model we fit is, so l n mu i is equal to x i prime beta, which is equal to beta 1 x i 1 plus beta 2 x i 2 plus beta p x i p. Okay. And uh, finally, you can write this as uh, mu i is equal to ex exponential x i prime beta. So, this is the final model you have to fit and this is nothing but expectation of y i is equal to e to the power of x i prime beta. Okay. So, this is same as writing that you know y i. So, you have to fit the model y i equal to e to the power of x i prime beta plus epsilon. So, whereas for the normal case it is y i equal to uh, x i prime plus beta, because for the normal case your g mu is equal to mu that is why. Okay. Now, what I will do is that I will uh, talk about uh, some reasonable choices of link function. Uh, suppose uh, choice of this link function because the model is uh, model depends on this uh, choice of link function. However, the distribution is is normal distribution and the link function. Okay. So, in case of normal, uh, you see uh, I am just you know, bringing one slide from the, my previous lecture. Here you can see the uh, natural parameter is mu, you can you can forget this sigma square because this is a nuisance parameter. So, you can write it simply mu. Uh, so, then the link function will be g mu equal to mu. Okay. So, the link function will be g mu equal to mu and this is called the identity link. In case of binomial, we know we have, we have just uh, uh, established the model. So, g, mu, g p, let me write p, p is the probability of success in one trial, this is l n p by 1 minus p, this is called logistic link, these are the name. Okay. And then Poisho, uh, my g mu equal to l n mu, this is called log link and for exponential my g mu is equal to 1 my mu and this is called reciprocal link and of course, for the gamma distribution is same because exponential is a particular case of sorry gamma distribution it is g mu equal to 1 by mu which is also called a reciprocal link. Okay. So, uh, so in this uh, module, uh, so we have learned you know if the uh, error distribution or the uh, distribution of the response variable is not normal, but it is from uh, some exponential family, the distribution is from some is from exponential family, then how to uh, deal with the situation, how to fit a model. Okay. So, we have to stop now. Uh,
that's all thank you